Hello everyone, this is the Daily Devotional video for January 23rd, 2017. Our passage for today is in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 6 through 13. So, let's see, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. Verses 6 to 13. Okay, got it. Okay. But we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw from every brother who walks disorder disorderly and not according to the tradition which he received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow us, for we were not disorderly among you, nor did we eat anyone's bread free of charge, but worked with labor and toil night and day that we might not be a burden to any of you. Not because we do not have authority, but to make ourselves an example of how you should follow us. For even when we were with you, we commanded you this, If anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. For we hear that there are some who walk among you in a disorderly manner, not working at all, but are busybodies. Now those who are such we command and exhort through our Lord Jesus Christ that they work in quietness and eat their own bread. But as for you, brethren, do not grow weary in doing good. Title for today's devotional is The Landmine of Laziness. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I, I still have a cough, so bear with me. Many people never stop to realize that laziness is a sin. But like any other landmine, it has the potential to hurt or destroy lives. To be constantly idle and fruitless is contrary to Bible teachings. And anything that goes against God's word is a sin. In the parable of the talents, Jesus said of the servant who buried his master's money, You wicked, lazy servant. It says here in uh, Matthew twenty-five, twenty-six. The Lord put both wickedness and slothfulness into the same undesirable category. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. The book of Proverbs gives us a description of the lazy person. First off, he is a procrastinator. Somebody who puts off what needs to be done. There's a reference to Proverbs 20 verse 4. Second, he uses any excuse to avoid work. Proverbs 22:13. Third, he wastes time, Proverbs 6, 9-11. And finally, a slothful person is neglectful and careless with regard to what's going on around him. And in reference here, Proverbs 24, 30-32. Laziness does not fit who we are as believers. Our Father expects us to live purposefully, and work conscientiously. To be lazy and turn out a poor performance damages our testimony. Proverbs 25:19 warns, like a bad tooth and an unsteady foot is confidence in a faithless man in times of trouble. A lazy, untrustworthy person leaves tasks unfinished, and as a result, is a poor witness for Christ. 
what will unbelievers see in such a life that they would desire for themselves? We have a wonderful opportunity to participate in God's work. And that includes performing well in our vocation as a demonstration of obedience. Choose to work for Him today. I love that. I love that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these, these devotionals help you in your walk with Christ. I hope they encourage you and inspire you. I love you all so much. And I will see you, I will see you again tomorrow.